Welcome back, everyone. Yesterday, the president made a surprise policy announcement at CPAC. Take a look. Today, I'm proud to announce that I will be very soon signing an executive order requiring colleges and universities to support free speech if they want federal research dollars. Place went nuts. <laughs> All right, Charlie Coke, this is basically your life's work over the last yeah, few years. Been so, my, do you agree with it? My life's work of five <laughs> or six years. Oh, my goodness, do I agree with it. Well, this, this is real. The national conversation started about two weeks ago where our Turning Point USA activists got really punched in the face at University of California, Berkeley. And this really, you know, kind of propelled over the last week and a half. President Trump called them up on stage yesterday. And look, this is so unbelievably important that what the president announced, he said essentially that if college universities do not defend the free speech rights of all Americans, Ooh. that federal funding could potentially be withheld. So thank you, President Trump. Thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of all students of America, Turning Point USA and our work on 1,400 high school and college campuses across the country. Thank you for taking a stand for the First Amendment. Okay, so it's long overdue. Okay, we have over there. Kennedy, what do you think? Uh, I'm not a fan of executive orders to begin with, mm -hmm. uh, but I think his heart is in the right place, and I'm glad we're having this conversation. Conversation, but free speech isn't just about protecting conservative speech. It's all about speech. protecting all speech. And uh, these free yeah. speech zones that they have at college campuses are unconstitutional. And so there are just talk about them in more detail. Free speech zones. Yes. Yeah, so free speech zones are you know areas you, you can only have free speech in these areas. And and when is you're this talking something about something that everyone knows about. That's like the maddest thing. No, a lot of people I've don't know. But no, but it's, it's and, and this is this is, this is, is quite a trend. That yeah. I, that is we the have whole to, place should be a free no, no, no. Speech that, zone? That's what this is yeah. all about. Is that oh the speech God. is is just in a little cord, a box to, yes. between the hours of 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. No, I'm, I'm being somewhat and, and there yeah. are other groups um, yeah. like Charlie's, like uh, Young Americans for Liberty, yes. where they will go hand out constitutions just to see if they can get arrested outside of the free speech zones, and they have been. They've been arrested for handing out the United States Constitution, oh my God. as though it's North Korea and they're passing out Bibles. Right. I'm, I'm with Kennedy. I'm, I'm nervous about any kind of anything that comes down by executive order always makes me nervous. A lot of it, that has to do with the fact that it can easily be overturned by the next president. But I'm also con very concerned, like Charlie, mm -hmm. about the direction of college campuses and free speech there. I mean, I've got a son who's getting ready to go into that um, stage of his life. And it's it's really scary to think about how university used to be a place where you would exchange ideas and and learn how to live and work with people who think differently and look differently than you and suddenly we regress yeah. like 50 years and we're we're purposefully really segregating ourselves so the president obviously needs to make a stand i don't know if an executive order is the best thing but but okay. like both like all of you i'm happy that he's all right he's quick last word charlie it. well look i i don't love centralization of power in the executive but if it's in the advancement of liberty and freedom, I support it, which this is. More speech is better, always. And always. it's not just for conservatives, sure. not just for Republicans, but for all people. Okay. And uh, for far too long, conservatives have gotten the short end of the stick of these anti-constitutional speech codes. I'm staggered by what's going on. Anyway, um, I'm sure we'll talk <laughs> about it again. Um, thanks.